storms. In fact, the radar is extremely quiet and we're just left with plenty of clouds. Temperatures are in the mid 70s right now. Dew points are also in the lower 70s. And look at the humidity, 93%. So it's super humid outside and winds are fairly calm out of the west northwest at six miles per hour. And this will be pretty much the setup through the entire night and also as we begin our weekend. So I do want to show you the live radar here sweeping the skies and you can see I'm not tracking any rain. Everything is very quiet for now, but there's still a small chance for an, an isolated shower to pop up during the overnight. And in fact, everything looks quiet, extending all the way out to the east. We were seeing so much rain in central Mississippi, southern Mississippi, as well as central Alabama. And for the most part, things are starting to settle down. As we take a look at the winds and also the wind gusts, you can see that the wind are really all over the place because we have a boundary kind of sitting over us here. So the winds are variable. Some winds out of the north, south, even the east and the west. And this will be pretty much the setup as we head into the weekend. Now today, because of all the rain that we had, temperatures were actually below average climbing into the mid 80s. Even though we climbed into the mid 80s today, definitely felt like the lower 90s because the humidity values were rather high. Temperatures really not that bad. We're in the 70s right now. Uh, for for the most part, but as we head into our Saturday morning, things are going to warm up very quickly by eight. Temperatures will be in the lower 80s and there is a, a slight chance for a few pop up showers, but not until we head into the afternoon hours is when I think showers and storms will start firing up across the area and my daytime high in the lower 90s tomorrow afternoon. But of course, when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like the triple digits tomorrow. So with all the events that are happening tomorrow, number one, you want to make sure you have the rain gear with you. And number two, just make sure you're staying hydrated because it's going to feel so hot outside, feeling like 102 degrees by two and 107 by 304 uh, by four. So you get the point. It's going to feel hot outside. Just keep that in mind for tomorrow. So as we take a look at the high resolution uh, forecast here, a few pop up showers are possible early. Saturday morning. Clouds will begin to clear out in a few locations, so we'll see a mix of sunshine and clouds. When we start getting the daytime heating and that coupled with the humidity, then we'll begin to see begin to see showers and thunderstorms starting to fire up across the area. And notice the deep purples and also the oranges and the reds. We may see some heavy downpours in a few locations, but they'll be isolated. So just keep that in mind for tomorrow. And look at the timestamp. We're looking at around six, seven o'clock and then on and off showers throughout the rest of the evening and then Saturday night looking fairly quiet under partly cloudy skies. Now, in terms in terms of rainfall, here's what the GFS is looking like. Uh, some areas picking up between one up to one and a half inches of rainfall. We're looking at Hammond, Slidell, Bogalusa, and Lakefront, and looking at the lesser amounts as we look at our coastal areas. Now the Euro, a bit wetter in a few locations, could potentially pick up a little over two inches of rainfall as we head through our Saturday night or Saturday afternoon and also Saturday evening. So keep that in mind, some locations locally could get between between one to two inches of rain. Real quick of what's going on in the tropics, very quiet, seeing a few waves coming off of, of coming off of Africa, but because there's so much Saharan dust over the Atlantic basin now slowly creeping into the Gulf of Mexico, that's gonna limit any tropical activities. So nothing for the next five to seven days. Here's a look at your seven day tomorrow, lower 90s. It'll feel like the triple digits. Scattered showers and storms are possible. Sunday looking much drier temperatures in the mid 90s with isolated showers.